Okay, so uh, this tarpaulin project that I'm doing at this point in time, um, I'm basing it for the Australian SS truck or the way Australian railways or railroad used to cover their loads before box wagons and or box cars and whatnot. With the S truck, they were versatile, they would car and transport anything. Um, this technique can also be used on British cars of this peri uh, period and most probably you can use it on the American railway carriages. Um, you can also use it for model trucks. Now, um, what, I, what I'm using as a tarpaulin material is surgical bandage tape as you see here um, now it does give you we'll bring it up real close it gives you that slip focus in for a minute it gives it that fabric texture okay um, yeah there are a few little tiny bits where I've got to patch up on this one um, but yeah using this bandage tape that's that's a technique I use I've already prepped one here to be painted up so it gives you an idea what I've done um, I've wrapped the car up, wrapped the car up in clay wrap, um, cling wrap or clay wrap or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now just imagine I wrapped it up with clay wrap. I'll get the cardboard that I've cut to size, place it over the carriage like so. Now the cardboard's going to give it some firmness from when it gets removed and it also creates a bit of a support under the tape. Now what I'll do is I'll get the, the narrow width and wrap it around the, around the side and then with the wider one I'll go over like this in layers. Um, I'll put on this one here, I need another couple of layers on this. Um, if I try to put at least two layers of this bandage tape on it. Um, put two layers of bandage tape. It is see-through at the moment. I'm going to do another layer. So I'm just going to go over, over the top like this. Go 
other end so Okay, so that's all done now. Um, just double fold that over. So to finish it off, um, I'm going to use. To me, is let me get it in focus. Let it focus. Oh, that's going to focus. There you go. Uh, flat green. I'm using this as my tarpaulin colour. Um, comes up into this shade, as you see, uh, most tarpaulins are basically in this colour in the day that I'm modelling, this looks brand new, you can actually match it up or shade up to a warm one, but I'm using a brand new tarpaulin at this point in time. So uh, when you paint it, allow it for at least two days to dry, you can use kids paint um with a craft paint as well uh to put over top of it being water based you ain't going to lose this tackiness um but just leave it for a good two three days for it to dry up because once the paint dries up it actually hardens the bandage tape so here you have it um this is what it looks like when it's all trimmed up um, cannabis can be removed like so this one's a short one I've done it in um, these are the first samples that I've done before I painted it um, but as you see I did embrace the tape a lot right around so it's going to be a bit bulgy but that doesn't matter I mean I suppose I can use that still and it's simply just I'll use the um, tweezer for the moment um, it will come off it's a bit of a tight fit find the right spot to get it lifted there you go so I've got the cardboard and I can put that tarp along on the side somewhere the car looks empty and the car looks empty So that's how I do my tarpaulins using bandage tape. In the next one I will be doing a bigger car with the load using the same, same technique again using bandage tape. So stay tuned for that one. Bye for now.